So today we're buying yellow fin tuna. We're going to do a, the chef's going to do a, a curry for our lunch, and um, this is the fish that was caught fresh last night. Previously, we travelled from Colombo to Gaul. We saw snake charming, ate delicious food and stayed in a 400-year-old villa. We took a long 15-second walk from our previous villa to our new villa. Hello, welcome to number 39. Hello, I'm Joel. Mark, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mark. Please come in. No way, check out this place. Wow, what a room. He'll be assisting you with cleaning the house and... Uh... Okay, hello, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you. Oh, he's the chef. Hello, Yuan. Nice to meet you. Nice, thank you. Let's do a quick house tour. Number 39 is a three bedroom, three bathroom villa, so it's perfect for smaller numbers. Time for breakfast. Ah, oh, yes, fresh coffee. Looks like someone's joined us for breakfast. Hey, buddy. There's fresh fruit, tropical juice, and today I'm having scrambled eggs. It's on our way to the market. On our way to the market to buy all the produce for today's authentic Sri Lankan lunch. the actual fishing boats that they used to go for fishing and we're going to see the fish that they've got now. The fishermen put out fishing nets during the night and then remove them at five o'clock in the morning. So today we're buying yellow fin tuna. We're going to do a, the chef's going to do a, a curry for our lunch, and um, this is the fish that was caught fresh last night. We're heading off to the vegetable market. As you can see, it's made out of buffalo milk. This buffalo is curd, milk, yes. a type and of yogurt. A plot made up, pot made out of clay. Special tree called, a palm tree called kitul. So kitul is similar to maple syrup. You eat with the curd. But the sap. Uh, Jesus. Uh, maple syrup. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just got a bird that shitted on me, <laughs> on my camera. It's good luck. <laughs> it's good luck. <laughs> These huge containers contain spices, black pepper, chilli, curry powder, chilli flakes, roasted curry powder and saffron. Let's just hold back on that chilli. Some tamarind for our tuna. So it's a bit like, it's, it's kind of a potato. But it's different potato, not sweet at all. Yeah, yeah. These are potatoes? Uh, yeah, different kind of a Sri Lankan potato. It clears out your stomach. It has quite a lot of fibre. As you can see, see, ah. there's loads of fibre in it. And when you eat, it cuts, it clears off all the unwanted things in your stomach. Mm -hmm. 
very bitter. <laughs> but it's super good for your health. It cuts off sugar. We're now looking for red rice flour for our string hoppers. So this is the type of rice they have blended, grounded, and this is the flour we are going to buy. It's called red rice flour. Okay, now back to the villa for some cooking. And the water inside is really delicious and really healthy for you. So we don't waste the water, we drink it. This, this part we are going to scrape to make co coconut milk and this we are going to drink. This. So this is how you do the traditional way. So you get the coconut and here is the blade. There you go. So here you can see. Okay, and that's the end result. Yeah. No wastage. And no, yeah. no wastage and also in Sri Lankan cooking, you need to take much as possible because you have oil in this part. So when you scrape this part, uh -huh. it gives really a thick milk and it gives a nice flavor to the cooking. So you use your hands? Of course. So I pour a little bit of... That's just water, is it? Yeah, that's just water. So this is I'm going to take thick milk. We are going to strain the milk. Coconut milk. Fresh thick coconut milk. Yes. Okay, so this is the rice flour we brought in the morning. Uh, we went shopping and brought rice flour. So I mixed it with water and a bit of uh, salt. This is the tool you'll need for string hoppers. It's then simply extracted over a type of filter. So it's red rice. Red rice flour, yes. This actually makes quite a huge batch. They are steamed for three to five minutes. And there you have it, simple as that. Your string hoppers are ready. For the dull, add the lentils, turmeric powder, salt, thin coconut milk. In a separate pan, some vegetable oil, mustard seeds, cinnamon, pandan leaves, curry leaves, garlic, onion. Cook until it starts to brown. Chili flakes, yeah? Whoa! <laughs> That's probably mild, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. The mixture is then added to the lentils. Now for the curry tuna. This is our own number 39 style recipe. Some vegetable oil with cardamom pods, cinnamon, pandan and curry leaves, garlic, onion and green chilli. I'm going to add the spices. Curry powder. Turmeric. Turmeric. <laughs> Chili powder. A little less for my palate. Some chopped tomato. Now some thin coconut milk. A little salt and cook for about 10 minutes. Grab the fresh tamarind juice. Add some fresh tamarind juice and a little more coconut meal. I'm going to add the fish. Fresh fish from the market. We saw that, and, yeah. yeah. And I have seasoned it with lemon and salt. The fresh fish is added to the curry and it's cooked for only three minutes. Now time for lunch.
We had many great meals at number 39, including vegetable soup, stir fries and more. Wow, what a feast. We've got chicken curry, we've got um, vegetable curry, we've got dal and steamed rice with some papa dumplings. I'm starving right now. Today, we're having breakfast outside. With many restaurants at your doorstep, you can also eat out. For a change, we had tabbouleh, then a pizza. So hot here, so we're just getting a coconut that was cut up on the side of the road. Throughout this villa, you will find original pieces of Dutch furniture. Have a look at the detailed craftsmanship of this Dutch box. This piece is also original. These chairs are made from very expensive ebony wood and are also the original frames. Pieces like this bedroom wardrobe and bed frame are all original Dutch antiques, adding to the charm of this villa. Thank you so much for looking after us. Thank you too for looking after us. It's awesome to stay here. And I want to give you a little present, a little chef hat. You to wear. <laughs> Coming up next, see another amazing villa in the tropical treetops, discover a paradise beach and more traditional Sri Lankan food.